Uh, my name is Tuck, and I'm a software engineer with uh, eBay Cloud Infrastructure Team. And um, it's going to be a very short talk. Um, today, I'd like to talk about the container management journey at eBay with uh, Kubernetes. And um, then I'll follow up with a short discussion of a, uh, our container registry uh, powered by Quay um, Enterprise. So first, a few um, numbers about the scale of uh, eBay private cloud. Uh, so we manage more than 2,000 uh, to 200,000 VMs, and um, it's more than 60,000 bare metals now. Uh, in addition to uh, infrastructure, we also manage application build and deployments. Uh, we provide framework and services that eBay uh, application are, are built upon. Uh, we also run our monitoring and logging infrastructure. Uh, so a very big scale. Um, uh, the uh, wide container. So um, this is the state of affair uh, for us right now at eBay. Um, in the previous slides, you saw that we had um, 200,000 uh, VM, 60,000 bare metals. Uh, so those physical and virtual machines are split across multiple pools. Uh, search backend, for example, is one of the biggest pools that we have at eBay. Um, and then we have pools for uh, services and, and application, front end applications. Uh, we have database servers, um, Hadoop, uh, big data, um, machine learning, a lot of pools. And uh, in this deployment model, uh, is, is uh, perfect for, uh, for application developers. Because if you look at it, uh, there's a high level of isolation among um, applications, right? There's no chance of uh, an application um, doing something that would bring, out an, uh, bring down another application. So this is great, but for us who uh, maintain infrastructure and res uh, compute network storage resources at eBay, this is not good. Um, the uh, utilization is very low. Um, the, uh, the idea here is that because it's difficult to scale out, we intentionally keep the load on the machines uh, very small so that we can scale up if, if we need to. Another disadvantage with this model is that it's not easy to run one-time on-demand job, right? Uh, what people do is they scale out a pool, run their job, and then they hold on to it in case they have to run it again. But chances are it's a one-time job. So uh, from allocation point of view, this is not uh, optimal. The model that we want to get to is this. So basically, we want to merge all these pools into a big cluster of uh, machines, right, of nodes. And any particular node can run any workload. And in fact, we want to pack as many workloads as possible into a node to maximize the capacity. Um, Another perspective is this one. So currently, uh, uh, as a, um, uh, a developer, um, I have to provision machines. I have to deploy my code on the machines. I have to monitor it. And if something goes wrong, I have to come in and fix it. Um, so going with Kubernetes, we uh, getting rid of that and replacing it with just run. So you tell us what you want to run, how you want to run it. Uh, you tell us how many uh, copies, versions of that, and then we will do it for you. Um, so now provision is out of the way. A monitor is provided out of the box from the cluster by, by the cluster. And in case of a node failure, uh, these workloads get automatically rescheduled to a different node uh, without uh, developers uh, knowing about it. So this is great. Um, and uh, even uh, on day one, we realized that to enable all of this, we will need our own container registry. Um, so we started out with uh, um, the Docker uh, uh, Hub, uh, the, uh, the public version of it, the open source version. So we built, it, uh, we built our own uh, deployment of that thing. And we took a step back and looked at the um, requirements from our perspective. And uh, top, on top of the list is a higher viability. Right? We want it to be available all the time. Um, Next one is uh, authentication and authorization. Uh, we, uh, as you may know, we uh, use OpenStack inside. We are actually 
one of the largest OpenStack deployment. Um, so we, and OpenStack provides Keystone as an identity service. So we integrate most of our internal tools with Keystone for, for authentication. Um, we want the uh, registry to do the, uh, to have uh, to to integrate with Keystone as well. On top of that, we want um, repository, uh, repositories to be organized into organization teams, users. Uh, we want to have public public and private repositories. Um, if you use Docker Hub, these are probably familiar to you. Um, we have huge deployment of uh, Swift. Swift is the uh, OpenStack solution for uh, object storage, and we think that Swift is the perfect uh, storage backend for uh, for images and layers. Um, so we want to uh, we we would want uh, the registry to use Swift uh, behind the scene. Security security is big. I mean, security is on everyone's mind at eBay. Every time we do a, a presentation to executives. Uh, security always comes up. If there's a, a reservation at eBay about containers and Docker and all that is because of security. Uh, we don't want folks to just pull any images off of the internet and run it, especially in our production cluster. Uh, so we want to be able to sign images. We want to be able to bless the uh, uh, base uh, OS. Uh, we want application teams to be able to sign images for deployment in production. And image scanning, what you just uh, heard in the previous uh, session. Re replication is also another requirement that we have. We have data centers in Europe. We have data centers in Australia. Uh, and we want images to be close to, uh, to the clusters. Right? We don't want our um, cluster in uh, Amsterdam to go to a US data center to pull images. Um, so we. Um, about a year ago, we uh, did the analysis, uh, the, uh, the comparison of various things out there. So there's a Docker distribution. This is the open source version uh, of, of the Docker Hub. And then Docker uh, Trusted Registry, DTR, which is the uh, enterprise version of Docker Hub. And then there's Quay uh, Enterprise, which is the enterprise version of Quay.io. Um, we evaluated version 142 of uh, DTR, so just to make that clear. Uh, in terms of high availability, um, DTR wasn't there when we, when, when we were looking at it. Um, everything was running on one box, uh, six, seven containers, including the database, uh, which is on one box. Um, in terms of um, authentication and authorization, pretty much uh, on bar uh, across the board. Uh, the exception is Quay Enterprise, where they were uh, core OS were willing to work with us with us to add the uh, support for Keystone. Um, so that's there now. Uh, Swift support is very consistent across the board too. Um, image uh, in terms of security, um, this is a tricky area. I think I mean image scanning was available um, recently for Quay. Uh, Enterprise, and we haven't had a chance to, to, to check it out yet. Uh, but we've been pushing very hard on, on CoreOS to, uh, to do support image signing, um, with something like Notary uh, that uh, Docker, uh, Hub, uh, Docker released uh, recently. And Quay Enterprise supports uh, replication out of the box. Uh, it's pretty advanced. Uh, we are actually in the process of uh, enabling it. For our um, yeah, so from this comparison, it's pretty clear that uh, Quay Enterprise uh, was the winner for us, and we decided to go with uh, QE um, since last summer. And this is how it's de deployed within eBay. So we have three instances uh, of um, the registry server, uh, which is also a container. So in a sense, we have uh, Docker running in production right now. Um, and they talk to a MySQL uh, cluster. Of, uh, this is mainly for metadata, user organizations, uh, image uh, sizes, things like that. The actual layers uh, are stored in Swift um, as objects. And then they um, talk to Keystone uh, for um, authentication. Now, this is just one uh, deployment in one region. We actually have three copies like this, um, independent from each other. 
uh, and together they make up a global um, ECR, which is eBay Container Registry for us. Um, so it's a, it's a large deployment. And um, f in about a year, we have about 90 active users. Uh, again, Docker is actually not um, um, well supported at eBay. Mostly folks uh, explore on their own, doing their own thing. Uh, we don't want to support Docker officially until our Kubernetes story is sorted out. And then we work in aggressively on that. Um, so these 90 users have created about 500 repositories. Um, and they take up about one terabyte of, um, of storage. Um, and about two, two, 350,000 objects in our Swift uh, just from this container registry. Moving on, the challenges with hosting your own registry. Right? So security, uh, again, is, is the top, uh, top concern right now. Uh, we deploy it, we run it, so we own it. Um, they, uh, our, our security teams go in after us very hard to make sure that uh, images get scanned, um, that we don't have um, uh, CVEs, known CVEs in, 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 um, in the registry. Um, we have existing deployment and uh, monitoring and login infrastructure, so we have had to um, fit the Quay Enterprise into that infrastructure. Uh, currently, uh, it's been automated with Puppet, but in the very near future, it will be uh, running in Kubernetes just like any other application. Um, for monitoring, well, we uh, develop a service called Registry Watch, and what it does is it uploads and downloads from the registry uh, periodically, every 10 minutes, and then it reports data uh, to our, our monitoring system, and then we get alerted when something goes wrong. Uh, for login, we um, use Logstash to scrap the logs out of the um, Quay Enterprise servers, and we send the logs to Elasticsearch. So here's what the uh, a view, a dashboard for our logs. So you can see that we can we track uh, pretty. Uh, we have pretty good uh, view into the system. We can. Uh, track down to the Docker client versions and all that stuff. And then this is another view of um, the data, of the metrics that are produced by the, the watch um, uh, service. So we track for, uh, we, um, what we do is we, uh, this is actually the latency for uh, a large image. This is a one gig image, so every 10 minutes we uh, upload it to the, the registry, we capture the failure rate and latencies, and then we delete it and we do the same. And then we, we pull it down to the, uh, to the machine and we also capture the latencies and all that. And we have alert on those things, so if it uh, all of a sudden um, there was a jump right here and we got an alert on that, uh, so it, it took a little bit longer. That's all I have, and as um, for, for closing, um, I don't imagine that um, you will go off and run your own registry um, anytime soon, but if you do, I hope the information is uh, helpful in making uh, the decision. Um, if you decide to go with Quay uh, Enterprise, if just, just mention eBay and you get 50% off. Uh, <laughs> And if you want it for free, then you can go and join us at eBay. <laughs> Any questions? Check. Uh, so you, you, uh, you mentioned that you had an existing deployment uh, that was deployment system that was built in-house and you're migrating to Kubernetes. Um, can you just describe or talk more about what the impact on the developer is? Um, so it's all built in-house. Uh, we have the entire flow where developer uh, would go and create an application, uh, register it. Um, there's a CI environment that builds uh, the application into packages. Uh, again, our own format. And that gets deployed into the, uh, the machines in the pool. Uh, so all of that is all in-house. Was the, uh, is the is the plan for the migration to be transparent to developers, application developers? 
You mean migration into Kubernetes? Yes. Um, migration is tough. Um, the, uh, right now, we're targeting new use cases. Uh, so 90% of, of uh, application deployment at eBay is automated right now and very well taken care of. Um, the rest, things like Hadoop and database servers and Elasticsearch and things like that, they all have their own ways of doing it. So those are the, our target application to, to bring them into uh, to Kubernetes. Um, and then we deal with the, uh, the, the, the 90%, the other 90% uh, probably over the years. Uh, if, if you think about it, this is a massive effort, right? Uh, this is not uh, a flip that you can switch. I mean, most of eBay developers still don't know what Docker is. So imagine you take a Java application, uh, containerize it, right? turn it into an image, and then you, with Kubernetes, you have to learn about part and replication, uh, uh, RC and services and all that. So I mean, we're talking about introducing a brand new stack. Um, into the system, and it's going to be a multi-year uh, effort. I have another question, if nobody else does. Have you uh, tried Claire for any of your deployments? No, not, not yet. Yeah. So it, Claire was um, released very recently in 116. I think it was last week or something. Um, and and um, yes, yeah, so that's we, one of my tasks is to uh, give it a try and see how it works. Thanks. All right, thank you.